Hello and welcome to the presentation of our work. My name is Azad. I'm from Mobile Robotics Lab in Skolkov Institute of Science and Technology. And the topic of our work is submillisecond video synchronization of multiple Android smartphones. The central motivation for this work is to use smartphones as multi-camera systems, which can be applied in computer vision and robotics tasks, particularly in 3D reconstruction and SLAM. Multi-view tends to show more accurate and robust results in such tasks and allows for a wider range of applications compared to monocular cameras. Although professional multi-camera systems provide accurate synchronization with hardware triggers, smartphones are more widely available. They contain cameras, processing capabilities, wireless communication. All of that makes them good candidates for this task. Smartphone video synchronization deals with the two main issues. The first one is time synchronization, which can be solved with network protocols, as well as the database methods, which register some external event and synchronize on that. The second issue to be addressed is frame level synchronization, which can be formulated as aligning the frames so that they are captured almost at the same time. Here in the picture, you can see the problem illustration. There are two camera streams which are slightly shifted from one another. There is an offset, which means that they are out of phase. And the goal is to minimize this offset. This issue is also addressed in some of the existing works with leap software sync method, given sub millisecond synchronization of taking pictures. However, these works do not solve the problem of accurate video synchronization. Leap software sync approach is the one we based our work upon, as it gives great accuracy for synchronized multi view photos. It deals with capture synchronization by starting a continuous camera stream with a constant period and then inserting frames with a slightly different exposure time. This shifts the timestamps phase and that shifting is done until the offset is minimized. So until we achieve the goal phase presented here. There are two open questions our work is intended to solve. The first one is, could this method be extended to video recording? And the second, what is the amount of phase drift on Android smartphones family? Lip software sync method relies on frame streams being stable and having a known frame period. So in order to find out whether the approach can be used with video recording, we needed to inspect how video start event affects phase stability. And also we needed to find a way to estimate the period. For that, we've implemented a test application which logs frame timestamps before and after video start event. This application was launched on a Google test suite, Firebase test lab. And we've selected a subset of 47 device models which satisfied our camera requirements. Based on the collected data, we found that the difference between consecutive timestamps follows one of the presented patterns. In the left graph, this value is aggregated around one mean, which is close to the period from the requested FPS. However, some of the devices have outliers, like in the right graph, which are close to the multiple of the period. These outliers result from occasional frame drops by the smartphone and don't affect timestamp phase. So we've proposed the following model of frame timestamps, which accounts for the outliers and random noise. It should be noted that by not discarding the outliers close to the multiple of the period, we can achieve better accuracy. The problem formulation represents the minimum square error between the timestamp of the frame and the proposed timestamping model. This problem can be classified as mixed integer problem. Unfortunately, MIP solvers 
are inadequate for our task due to its online nature. So we formulate an approximated problem, which is based on an assumption that the noise follows Gaussian distribution. By estimating the frame index and taking into account the differences between two consecutive timestamps, it can be formulated as follows in a simplified way. Looking at the data, we have observed that the noise in fact does follow the Gaussian distribution, which justifies our choice for the approximated problem. Based on the previous statements, the timestamps period can be calculated as a weight sum of the solutions for each cluster, concentrated around some multiple of the initial period estimation. Here you can see phase drift estimated on the collected data, and its value is less than one millisecond per minute for the most smartphones, which means that switching camera from preview mode to video doesn't shift aligned phases, and the Leap Software Sync approach on phase shift alignment could be scaled to video recording. Another thing to note is this graph is that the data was divided into the subsets of different duration or different amount of samples. For the most smartphones, 50 samples or 50 consecutive timestamps, which is two seconds of camera stream, is enough to estimate period. To evaluate the Android application for synchronized video recording, we used a rig with two Samsung Galaxy S20 smartphones, rigidly fixed and parallel on one wooden base, and the light set up based on a periodical flash blinking. Knowing that mobile smartphone cameras have rolling shutter property, we can estimate the time difference between corresponding frames. And that time difference does not exceed 150 microseconds in all of the experiments, with the recording duration being one minute. It's important that this value includes the phase drift throughout the video, not only the synchronization error. And the result is good enough for the most computer vision tasks. As a qualitative demo, we've applied panoramic video stitching to the recording synchronized videos. The scene is highly dynamic, so you can see the person is jumping, and there are some stitching artifacts on unsynchronized frames, which are not present on synchronized ones. Thank you for your attention.